Dive deep into timeless tales. Join our Bible's literature series where ancient stories come alive. Discover the Bible like never before as captivating narratives, not just sacred texts. Your literary adventure awaits. Dive into the Bible with us, a tapestry of tales and truth, where the sacred texts shape community conversations. Promises to Abraham and Sarah. Abraham holds immense significance for Jews, Christians, and Muslims worldwide. The central theme of his narrative, Genesis chapters 12 to 25, revolves around the concept of promise, a commitment regarding the future. The promise made by God to Abraham shapes his expectations and actions while also introducing risk. The story of Abraham takes this theme to a profound level where God's promise leads to Abraham to risk everything in hope of its fulfillment. Let's explore the various aspects of this drama, including the connection between the promise and faith, conflict, laughter, and ordeal. The Promise and Faith In Genesis 12, God gives Abraham a threefold promise. First, Abraham is instructed to leave his homeland and travel to a new land God will reveal. Second, God promises that Abraham will become the father of a great nation. Lastly, Abraham is told that he will be a source of blessing for all families on earth. Each element of the promise creates tension between the grandeur of the promised future and the seeming improbability of its realization. Abraham is asked to leave his familiar land for an unspecified destination. He and his wife Sarah have no children, making the promise of becoming a great nation appear improbable. Moreover, the idea of blessing all families through Abraham's lineage seems obscure. Nevertheless, Abraham and Sarah take the risk, embarking on this uncertain journey to discover what the future holds. The Promise and Conflict In Chapter 15, the tension between faith in an expansive future and the reality of present limitations escalates. Abraham, still without children, informs God that he has designated a household slave as his heir. But God counters by raising the expectation of countless descendants, considering Abraham's faith as righteousness. In chapter 16, Sarah, impatient about their childlessness, suggests Abraham have a child with her slave Hagar. Conflict arises when Hagar conceives, and Sarah mistreats her until Hagar runs away. God finds Hagar in the desert and promises blessings to her son Ishmael. Throughout the narrative, both Abraham and Sarah display flows and complexities, while God's compassion plays a pivotal role in shaping a more promising future. The Promise and Laughter Chapters 17 and 18 revisit the issue of childlessness and God reaffirms the promise to Abraham. At this point, Abraham laughs in this belief, but God assures him that Sarah will indeed give birth to a son. When Sarah gives birth to Isaac, meaning he laughs, the theme of laughter takes center stage, symbolizing a newfound delight and the fulfillment of God's promise. The Promise and Ordeal In Genesis 22, God commands Abraham to sacrifice his son Isaac, leading to a perplexing and challenging ordeal. Abraham obediently sets out to fulfill the command, but is ultimately spared from sacrificing Isaac when God intervenes and provides a ram for the sacrifice. This story exemplifies the inscrutable ways of God and reinforces his commitment to life over death. In conclusion, the story of Abraham and Sarah revolves around God's covenant and promise for their future. Their journey is marked by faith, conflicts, 
laughter, and profound ordeals, ultimately portraying a God whose ways may be mysterious, but whose commitment to life remains unwavering. Stay enthralled with epic sagas and ageless wisdom. Continue with us in our Bible as Literatures series. Unearth stories and symbols in a fresh literary light. The next chapter of your riveting journey is just around the corner. We've journeyed alongside Abraham and Sarah, witnessing faith, ordeals, and the unyielding promises of the divine. As the narrative finds its conclusion, another tale waits on the horizon of dreams, disguises, and destinies interwoven. Join us next time as we delve deep into the lives of Jacob and Joseph, two figures who tell us about divine interventions, the power of dreams, and the beauty of reconciliation. From Jacob's struggle to Joseph's visions, discover how the tapestry of their lives reflect the grand design of a higher purpose. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss out on this enthralling continuation.